Hello, this is Dr. Whiting, and today I want to talk to you about something that I feel so strongly about that I wanted to make a separate program concerning it, and that is excess stress in our lives. You see, stress is what I believe and what I often call the cardinal cause or the major underlying cause of most all illnesses. After working with people with chronic diseases and various other health challenges now for over 30 years, I am absolutely convinced that the only factor that's universal in all of these various health challenges is excess stress. In fact, if you yourself think back over the months or years, any health problem that you have, I'll be willing to bet when you were under excess stress, that problem got much, much worse. You see, stress can so alter the chemistry of the body that it's absolutely uh, self-destructive to the internal chemistry of your human body. Now, every major philosopher in history talked about the importance of dealing with stress, finding inner peace, etc. They may have called it meditation, prayer, relaxation. Today we call it uh, biofeedback. Uh, there are many, many terms. But there's a whole uh, 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 litany of things available to help us manage our stress. You see, unfortunately, we human beings have created a society at every level. Family, community, town, neighborhood, nation, and world. And each, at each one of those levels, the stress is higher and higher. There's always conflict, there's always stress, there's always something to worry about, uh, the economy, uh, there's so many things. In fact, there are really only two groups of people, the kind of folks who say, you know, I got a lot of stress in my life, especially recently. And then there are the kind of people who lie and say they don't. No, no, I'm fine. I can handle it. Well, that may or may not be true. The, f the good thing is, is that solid stress management techniques and key dietary supplements can help your body to really manage stress and not just create an illusion that you're doing so. One of the most important principles in learning to manage stress is to focus and stay in the moment in which you find yourself. Many philosophers have talked about the importance of being in the present moment or what's often called being in the now. And what that really means is that means tend to the business at hand. Tend to the responsibilities, tend to the needs, tend to the issues of this moment not what might come tomorrow or 10 minutes from now or next week or next month or next year. And so many of us live in the future, full of anxiety, wringing our hands over what might in fact happen next. How will things be next week? Will they be better next month? Will they get worse? Well, none of us can really forecast or predict those answers. But by living in this moment, dealing with what this moment presents, you have a better chance of making the next moment better. So it's important to try not to manage and handle and worry about everything that could happen, or for that matter, that has happened. Many people live in the past. They worry about what could have been, should have been, might have been. The past is gone forever. All each and every one of us really has is this moment. So by staying focused in this moment, you will find that your overall level of stress will go down. It'll get less. Learn to listen to your body. Sometimes it speaks to us and tells us, hey, wait a minute. I need a rest. I need a mental rest. I need a break. Do you know we did an experiment a few years ago with people in high-stress jobs and the only thing we asked them to do was to stop for just 60 seconds, whatever they're doing, and just close their eyes and breathe. And just feel the air, the life-giving breath of life go in and out of your lungs. 
just for 60 seconds. And those who did that two or three times during the day, especially when they felt particularly anxious or stressed, found that their overall stress levels were greatly reduced. They felt better, they were more relaxed, they slept better at night. Two or three minutes out of a busy day can often make a tremendous difference. We all need to learn to feel comfortable in our own skin, who we are, what we are, and uh, obviously we all strive to be better people, or we should. We strive to learn more, to do better, but we need to keep that, 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 that striving in perspective because we can become obsessed. And that does nothing except burden our internal chemistry and our brain with more and more stressors. Now, one of the things that uh, indicates to us that stress might be a problem is your memory. Have you ever noticed when you're under excess stress, it's very, very difficult for you to remember things? You make a list, you forget to take the list, you tie a string around your figure, you forget what the string's for, and so on. And that's a signal that your brain is becoming overloaded. So in addition to practicing relaxation, meditation, prayer techniques. See, it really doesn't matter what you call it or how you do it, as long as you do it. Spend your off time doing something different than you normally do, something hopefully that you enjoy. These are all ways in which you can help your body to better deal with internal and external stress. See, there are two kinds of stress. The external kind, which is our environment, the traffic, the job, the family, the obligations. And then there's internal stress. That's the kind of stress that we create in our own internal being. Worry about things oftentimes that haven't happened yet. Uh, opinions, beliefs. Some people create tremendous beliefs, but tremendous opinions for which they fight to the death. And there's oftentimes no basis of fact for those opinions other than the individual chooses to believe. And that's fine as far as it goes, but just look what you're doing to the human body. If you realized how much stress in your life can cause disease and premature death, you would take those two or three minutes and try to do something about it. As a biochemist, uh, several years ago, I developed a wonderful stress formula. It has become one of the most popular formulas uh, that we have ever, ever developed because there are so many people dealing with stress. That formula is available through an affiliate company called Phoenix Nutritionals. You can contact them or view the formula called Stressies at phoenixnutritionals.com. If you should have any questions about stress management, you can always reach our research center at 1-888-454-8464.